Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part three of the same topic. From there we'll see the innings, fourteen point two. So here they said the ratio of the lengths of parallel sides of a trapezium is two is to three. The distance between them is sixteen centimeter. If the area of the trapezium is three hundred and twenty centimeter square, and you have to find the length of the parallel sides, so now the ratio is given as two is to three. The ratio of the lengths of the parallel sides of a trapezium. So we can consider let the lengths of the parallel sides be two is to three means we can just say two x and three x. So the formula for the area of trapezium is half into sum of parallel sides into height. So since the I'm short of space, I wrote the height here. You can also write it. At the side of this one, so here, now you know that this is given. The area of the trapezium is given as three twenty. So below this one, area of trapezium, you will write here three twenty half, which are the sum of parallel sides. That is the two x and three x. What we have considered, and the height. So whatever the distance is given, that means that is the height which is given as sixteen centimeters. So we will write here sixteen in place of height. So this is the same. So This will be five x into sixteen. So we can do here two ones are two eights are. So th this will be on the same side. If this comes on the changes the place, it is going to get divided, and this will be five x on the right hand side. So th this will be forty is equal to five x. So this will be this is multiplication. So this will get divided. Forty divided by five is x. So this will be eight. So x is eight centimeter. So we have to find the Length of the parallel side. So what will be two x and we have to find that means two x and three x. So we got the value of x is eight centimeter. So two x will be two into eight. That will be sixteen centimeter. Three x is three into eight. That is twenty four centimeter. So we can say therefore the length of the parallel sides are sixteen centimeter and twenty four centimeter. Now to find the area of quadrilateral W X Y Z shown in figure. So this is a figure given. So this is the This is the quadrilateral. So what we can see, this is the diagonal, and these are the perpendicular sides. So we can say here, uh, for this one, this is the perpendicular one, and for this triangle, this is the perpendicular perpendicular side. So we can say here, let length of diagonal this be W X, and that will be you can also write here is equal to twenty one centimeter, and here. ZB and this one AX, these are the perpendiculars. So now this is the sign for the quadrilateral. So area of quadrilateral W X Y Z means the whole this one. So there are two triangles in it. So we can say the first triangle we can consider this one as W X Y, and the second uh, this one we can consider it as W Z Y. So this is the next triangle. So we have to find out that this. As well as this areas of this separate triangle, so that two two together that is the quadrilateral. So area of quadrilateral W X Y Z is area of triangle W X Y plus area of triangle W Z Y. So what will be that? That is you know the this area of this one will be half into base into height. So this is going to be the height. This is the base of it. So we can write here half into this is common W Y into this. A, for this one, we are going to consider. So we can say for this one, W Y into this A X plus this half for the uh, this triangle W Z Y. So this is going to be a half into W Y into this one A B. So that will be Z, sorry, not A B, but that is Z B. So what is W W Y? This half will be same. W Y is given as this is twenty one centimeter. So twenty one into this A X is two point four. So again, what is that? Again, this is going to be Z B is four point eight. So this twenty one, this two point four, this is W Y again twenty one, and this is four point eight. So now what we can do here? We can see these are this is the one we can say. Part and this is the other part because the plus sign is in between. So from this one we can see from this both one by two into twenty one is common. It's 
up to you whether you take common or you can separately solve this one, this one, and then you can add it. But to avoid the mistakes here, again here we can take here this 1 by 2 into 21, we can take common. So the remaining here is 2.4, that will be in the bracket, plus sign as it is. And from here, 4.8 means whenever we multiply this one, this is for this as well as this is for this. Whenever we, we write a bracket, so when you expand it, that means this is going to be the same as this one. So now this will be 21 by 2. And when you add this, this is 7.2. So 2 ones are 2, 3.6. When you multiply this one, 21 into 3.6, that is going to be 75.6 centimeters square. So area of quadrilateral W, X, Y, Z, that is 75.6 centimeters square. Find the number of tiles required to be put on the floor with dimensions 12.5 meter into 10 meter. And each tile is a rhombus. Width side 25 centimeter and altitude is 10 centimeter. So now what is given? The dimensions are given. That is for the tiles. Length of tile is 12.5 meter. And this into 10 means the breadth of tile is 10 meter. So area of floor means it will be definitely a rectangle that will be length into breadth. So 12.5 into 10. So that is going to be when you multiply this, that is going to be 125 meter square. Since that is area, that will be meter square. So now area of rhombus. The formula for area of rhombus is side, side into altitude. The side is given now. See, this is given in meter and this is given in centimeter. Side is 25 centimeter and altitude is given as 10 centimeter. So we have to convert this in meter first. So what will be that? See here, 100 centimeter is 1 meter. So we have. 100 centimeter is 1 meter so we have 25 centimeters so 25 centimeter will be how much so when we cross multiply so what happens whenever the two things are given they said this yeah that we have to write in the numerator and a single number that will be in the denominator so this is going to be 25 there are two zeros here so we'll go backwards two and put a decimal so that is going to be 0 0.25 and the altitude is given as 10 centimeter. So again, we will do here 100 centimeter is 1 meter. So 10 centimeter is going to be how much? So this is going to be, again, we are going to cross multiply 10 multiply by 100. So this is going to be, here we will write 10. How many zeros are here? Or we can cancel here 1. And we can put here 1. And we have 1 0. So we will go backwards 1 and put a decimal. That is 0 0.1. So this is 0 0.1. So when you multiply this, that is going to be 0 0.025 meter square. So now look at this sentence. They said each tile is a rhombus. So what we can say, area of one tile is going to area of rhombus. This is the important step. So that is what we got. We got the area of rhombus as 0 0.025. So we can see area of one tile is 0 0.025. So now they have asked for the number of tiles. So how to find the number of tiles? Number of tiles means area of flow divided by area of one tile. What we got over here. So area of flow we already got here. That is 125. That is the area of flow divided by area of one tile. That is 0 0.025. So now see here, if you are doing this without a KLC, so how to do this? This is the numerator and this is the denominator. So 125 will write as it is. For this denominator 0 0.025, we can write here 25. This is the number. And we'll go backwards by three number because after three numbers is a decimal. So we'll write here one and uh, we are going to put it uh, three zeros. So that is going to be 25. Or we, have, we have already done this one, sorry. So that will be 25 by 1000. So now what will be this? For this one, we have written here 25 by 1000. So now this is the numerator as it is. And this is going to get flip over. That is going to be. 1000 by 25. So now you will be 25 ones are 25 fives are that will be 125 and 5 into 1000 that is going to be 5000. So number of tiles required is 5000. Figure shows wooden book holder having two trapezium shaped flaps. Find the cost of putting sun mica on the inner side at the rate of rupees. 52 per 10 centimeters square. So now see here, this is the figure given. So now they said figure shows wooden book holder having two trapezium shapes flaps. So now see here, can you see this is a trapezium? 
this is a trapezium and these are the parallel sides always of a trapezium so now this is a trapezium and now we can divide it into two because there are two flaps and so this is going to be the height so this height is going to be 12 and this is the one of the side this one not the parallel this one parallel side the other one is this one so the one parallel side the measurement is 24 the other one that is 15 and the height is 12 centimeters so hope this is clear to you first with this figure so now we will just take this first because both of them are the same later on we are going to add it now so area of trapezium that is because they have asked the find the cost so now first we'll find out the uh, this one area of trapezium that is half the formula is a half into sum of parallel sides into height so half into as i said this is one so the parallel sides are 24 and this 15 so we write 24 plus 15 sum means you are going to add this one into height height is just you are not going to take this both because this half part so this is the height that is 12. so what will you write here when you add this this is going to be 39 so two ones are two six are so when, when you multiply this that you get 234 but we have two the similar ones so this as well as this one so what you are going to write area of book holder that is going to be two into 234 so that is 468 so we got the area of the book holder now we want they have asked for the cost of putting sunmic on the inner side so this is rupees 52 per 10 centimeter square so now be careful over here so we can say cost of 10 centimeter square that is given as rupees 52 so cost of this 468 centimeter square because below this you will write here so when you cross multiply we don't know what is here so what will be there 468 wherever two, two numbers are there that will be together for that will be multiplied together 468 into 52 divided by the single number that is 10 so now two fives are and two twenty six are so when you multiply this you get this one divided by five so when you divide this number you get two four three three point sixty that is rupees that is the cost they have asked so this is the answer so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you